Hello, shalom, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Pastor Ephraim. I'm glad to be here tonight to share with you uh, a revelation the Holy Spirit gave me. Okay, first of all, I would like to invite you please to subscribe to my channel as we would be sharing a lot of uh, edifying things, you know, uh, all the strange things that are happening in these last days. And uh, also we would be teaching the word of God because as a pastor and a teacher, uh, my, my, my assignment is to teach uh, the, 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 the people of God the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so today we want to see <coughs> this, uh, this thing that, that happens every time we overcome temptation. Every time we overcome temptation, this thing happens. What is this thing? This is what we are going to see now in this little teaching. Hallelujah. Okay, <coughs> so as I said, please share, uh, uh, share this video. And first of all, subscribe to the channel so that you would get the last updates every time. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. We are going to see in the Bible, uh, in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 10 verse 13, the Bible says something there. The Bible says, this is uh, the, the KGV version. The Bible says that there has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, uh, I want to, to, to take you to something here, <coughs> something that the Holy Spirit revealed to me. Every time we overcome uh, a, a temptation, every time we overcome a sin, there is something that happens spiritually to us. What is this thing? What happens is that every time we uh, are faced with a temptation or a sin, there is a spiritual operation that occurs. Okay, what is this spiritual operation? As you can see here, in this sentence, the Bible says that God is faithful and he will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. He would not allow us to be tempted above our force. So that means that temptation or sin is a force. We know that temptation or sin is a power. The Bible says that the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ came to, to, to destroy the power of sin, the power uh, of sin of, uh, uh, above us, you know. He came to destroy the power of sin in the world. So the, the, the sin or temptation is a power. And God will not allow a power, this power, which is temptation, which is sin. He will not allow it to come to us in a, in, in, in a, in a, in a powerful manner. I mean, in a manner that we, with the power we have, we cannot overcome. So that means that we have a power, we have a, an equivalent power than the power of temptation or sin, which will come to us. And this power that we will have over sin and over temptation, it is the anointing. The anointing is the fuel for the Christian. The anointing, we know that the anointing is as the gas for us to be able to to, 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 to go, to, to do things, to, to, uh, I mean, to accomplish our, our, our goals, I mean, to, to be able to run the Christian life. The, the, the anointing is the, the fuel that make our, our car, our Christian car, to, to be able to, to, to go. Hallelujah. So when uh, temptation is coming, what happens concretely? As soon as temptation or a sin is coming to us, God injects into us an equivalent power, which is anointing, in order to create a balance between the oppo opp opp opposite force that is coming. We, we have an uh, equivalent force that is coming to oppose this force that is coming against us. And this equivalent force that is coming from us is the anointing. Okay, I want to give an example here. For example, your battery, if you take your, 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 your phone, you have the battery level. 
let's say your battery level is at five uh, uh, sorry at 50 your battery level is at 50 so this is your anointing level what happens spiritually when a temptation or a sin is coming to you let's say this temptation or this sin that is coming has uh, 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 is for uh, 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 60 or for 70 its power its level I, I, I said that let's take uh, the, 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 the battery level as an example if this um, this temptation that is coming to you is at level 70 and you your level of anointing is at 50 what happens automatically God will grant you 20% plus of power of anointing in order for you to be able to face this sin's force this temptation's force so if the temptation has force 70 your, your, your anointing level which were at 50 would automatically raise to 70 do you understand my brother or and sister and when it raised at 70 so that this temptation that is coming to you is not above the force you have that's what this verse explains here the, the verse says that but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape this way he makes to make uh, uh, for you to escape this is simply that he would grant you the force and this force is the anointing God will automatically bring your anointing level at the same level than this temptation because as soon as uh, your, your, your anointing level is at the level of the force of this temptation you will automatically overcome it brother that's why he said that that he may be able to bear it he did not say that uh, God, he said that God will also make a way to escape but he did not say that you, you uh, uh, the temptation would be avoided to reach you the temptation you would have to go through it but you will be able to bear it what helps you bear the temptation what help you helps you bear the sin i mean uh, to to go through it but not to to yield to it to go through it but to overcome it what helps you do that it is the strength the power that was given to you this power which is the anointing which is equivalent to the power of the opposite i mean of the sin or the, the temptation this is the power that allows you to go through it but to overcome it that what that why the, the verse said here that god will also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it so if you have to escape it i mean if this temptation or this sin had to be taken away from you why would god make a, a way uh, uh, uh why would god allow you to be able to bear it okay at this point i have an example uh, which is coming to me from the bible when the lord jesus wa 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 was in the garden of gethsemane i mean uh, praying because he would go to the cross the bible said that he he asked he said lord if it is possible to take this cup away from me but he said anyway let your will be done so what happens there Jesus was tempted to, 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 to abandon. He was tempted to quit. But what happened that the Bible says that a, 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 an angel was sent to him to strengthen him. So when this angel came, the angel give, gave him strength, a, a, an anointing of force for him to overcome. And that's how he was able to, to, not, to not to escape, I mean, not to be... Uh, the, the temptation, uh, the, 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 this, this, uh, this uh, 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 I mean, this, this, this big, this big situation that was coming his way, not to take it out of his way, but for him to go through it, and he was able to go through it because he was strengthened. He received a greater anointing. Hallelujah. So, brother, that's why the Bible says here that God, 
who is faithful who will not suffer you us to be tempted above that means he gave out he he would give us a, a force that is equivalent to the force of the temptation for us to overcome it hallelujah is this clear for you okay i have another good news the, the other good news is that when now this temptation comes and as i say your anointing level uh, god will automatically raise it to reach the level of power of the temptation or the sin for you to be able to confront it and to overcome it so what happens when uh, the temptation come and you you are able to resist the bible says resist the devil and he, he, it, he will flee from you so when you resist what happens so this plus because you were at 50 your level of anointing your level of battery as i said your level of anointing was at 50 but as the temptation was coming uh, which level of force were, were, was at 70 god automatically granted you 20 percent plus of battery of of anointing you know battery level anointing level for you to be able so this 20 percent plus is a bonus that god gave you in order for you to confront a situation and overcome but what happens my brother and sister and this is the good news when you confront the situation and you overcome it by the force that get god gave you this force which is actually the anointing when you overcome this force this same force this same anointing it rests on you it stays hallelujah it stays on you so that's how when you resist temptation the thing that occurs is that your anointing level grows hallelujah every time you want your anointing level to grow just resist the temptation when you resist the temptation this plus anointing that was given to you just in order to pass this temptation it stays on you so your, your level your spiritual level uh, is upgraded and your anointing level is upgraded too do you understand how it works now hallelujah but one thing is also the the contrary if you do not resist if you do not use this uh, 20 percent anointing that was given to you to overcome this if you do not use it and you waste it i mean you yield to the temptation or the sin and you commit it what happens now is that this 20 percent bonus of anointing that was given to you to overcome it was be it would be taken away from you and not only that your level of anointing which was there which was at 50 would also be diminished maybe god will give god will take the equivalent again of you out of your anointing the, the the equivalent bonus that he added he would also take the equivalent out of you you see i'm not saying that this is exact but it really works as, like this it's just an example because you see every time you yield and commit a sin or you yield to a temptation you committed your level of anointing uh, diminishes and you have to struggle again to come back to come back on track have you noticed that and let me say one thing more sin uh, when i'm talking about temptation or sins here it's not only the major sins because when you talk about sin or temptation people think uh, automatically about sexual sins or stealing or something like that no it is not all that it's all the sins the bible says that uh, uh, do good to those who curse you uh, pray for those who are uh, 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 uh. the lord said that he said pray for those who are cursing you do good to do them that do you bad evil and so forgive to people all those are temptation and sins if you do not overcome them by resisting every time you yield and you do not do it, every time you you yield and you 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 you, you forget to for, uh, to forgive every time that you yield to a provocation and you react every time that uh, someone curses you and you curses back you are you are you are yielding to temptation you are you are lowering your your anointing level but instead if you resist maybe someone insults you but you do not react someone do you bad but you forgive 
you 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 go down on your knees and you pray for those who are causing you who are doing you bad every time you do that your anointing level grows as i said this anointing that was given to you to resist it stays there brother hallelujah the lord jesus said that it is said that in in luke 4 uh, verse verse 18 he said the 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 the, the lord has anointed me too to do so 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 and so the anointing comes for you to be able to do for you to be able to resist and every time you resist and you do not yield to a temptation or a sin you do not yield to it your anointing level increases and it does not diminish but every time you yield to it your anointing level uh, uh, diminishes in the book of acts acts 10 verse 18 we are going to read that because i wrote i wrote it down the bible says that that word I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Hallelujah. So you see, God anoints with Holy Ghost and power. The anointing is a power. So the anointing is a power. This power can increase or, 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 or be lowered or diminish depending how you 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 react when you are confronted with temptation or sin as we saw in this in this lesson hallelujah so brothers the verse continue and he says that uh, how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him so from today I want you to take this uh, into consideration. Every time you are confronted with a sin or a temptation to do bad, try to, 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 to resist because you have the force to resist. The Lord is faithful. He grants you automatically with the force, the power, the anointing to resist. So do not waste your anointing anymore by, by, by yielding to any provocation. May, you, haven't you noticed that some days you are, you, are, you are powerfully anointed, you have prayed, you have fasted, and the devil would send someone who will come and provoke you with a little thing just for you to, to go out of yourself. And as soon as you go out of yourself, your anointing level diminishes because it works like this, brother and sister. It works. It really works like this. Hallelujah. So from today, you know how to, to, to keep your anointing. And to, to, I mean, to uh, improve your level of anointing by not yielding to any temptation or sin. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, my brothers and sisters. Comment uh, this video and share and like it. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ stay upon of us all. This, is, this was uh, brother uh, 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 Ephraim Cyrus from France signing out. See you.